Welcome to SMR Bite Size. Monday's news story is on its way. But before that, if you like what we're doing, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Now they say don't kick a man when he's down, but hey, if it's Boris Johnson, what the hell? So we wake up early this morning to see what's trending on Twitter. And one name immediately jumps out at us by virtue of it not immediately jumping out at us. Charlotte Owen. Who's she, you might well ask. <laughs> Are you sure you're ready for this? Well, turns out she's on Johnson's dishonours list. Now, before we get into a little game of guess who, it's worth remembering that this dishonours list had already been scrutinised and names deleted. Most notably, Alex Sharma, Nigel Adams, and yes, Nadine Doris. In fact, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak took this ballsy swipe at Boris Johnson only this morning. Boris Johnson asked me to do something that I wasn't prepared to do because I didn't think it was right. Uh, that was to uh, you know, either overrule the HOLAC committee or to make promises with people. Now, I, I wasn't prepared to do that. As I said, I didn't think it was right. And if people don't like that, then tough. Do we detect a little bit of integrity and professionalism there, Rishi? I don't know. Anyway, back to the matter in hand. Just who is Charlotte Owen? Well, Twitter was rife with speculation. Does anyone know why Boris Johnson made his former parliamentary assistant, Charlotte Owen, 29, a life peer, RCN? David Andrus agrees. Is someone going to bother finding out who Charlotte Owen is before she takes a seat in the Lords? Basic stuff? Who are her parents? Where did she go to school? Maybe a little interview, starting with why did you feel it was right to accept a peerage from Boris Johnson? The problem isn't that Charlotte Owen is young. Lots of people have done remarkable things by by the time they're 30 and the upper house could do with more young people but the only remarkable thing she's done is to work in a very junior role for a deeply corrupt prime minister says tom she'll be lady owen she's not yet distinguished herself in any public service in any way whatsoever she may yet do so but she should not be entering the house of lords now something's wrong surely this needs to be investigated says martin in fact, lots of you smelt a pretty big rat here. Uh, it's worth noting, as Paddle Tram points out, that a life peer is entitled to an allowance of £300 a day for every day they sign into the house. Now that they're normally chosen for their expertise and experience in a particular field. Wikipedia sheds very little additional light on this interesting young lady. She graduated from the University of York in 2015, appears she worked as an intern and parliamentary assistant before joining number 10 as a special advisor in an unknown role under successive prime ministers, Boris Johnson and Liz Truss. The article also references the speculation as to what significant contribution to British society was made to justify the ennoblement, or as Glenn puts it, a gift. A gift that could turn out to be worth more than £2.5 million in attendance fees alone. And not to mention that she'll be shaping the laws of this country for quite possibly the next 50 years. For someone with no notable achievements, that's quite a gift. But journalists seem reluctant to fill in the gaps. From R.S. Archer, if it turns out that Charlotte Owen, the party worker that Johnson wants given a life peerage, is indeed his daughter from yet another... I'm sorry, what? I wonder how the UK media will cover the revelation. Well, blow me down. Didn't see that one coming. Turns out Mrs. Chickens had an inkling, though. Imagine being Charlotte celebrating your peerage and suddenly realising that half the country thinks you're Johnson's kid and the other half thinks you've been shagging him. Must take a bit of the shine off it. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. Uh, Abdul digs a little deeper, too. I I'm only speculating, but uh, Charlotte Owen was born in 93. Charlotte Owen is the daughter of Allegra Mostyn Owen, Boris Johnson's ex-wife, whom he divorced in 1993. Can't find any information on who the father is. Mm. Oh, look, he's left a clue. Uh, look carefully at her face. Remind you of someone? Well, Kevin certainly thinks so. Uh, notice any resemblance between a young Charlotte Owen and a naughty Boris? A quick DNA test before appointment may be prudent. Anyway, hold up, back up a step. Uh, who's this Allegra Mostyn Owen anyway? Uh, back to Wikipedia, let's take a look at the British journalist. Ah, most notable for being the first wife of former British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. 
divorcing in 1993, the, the year that Charlotte was born. But you know what? As only an amateur sleuth, that's almost the best, almost the best we could come up with. But I'll leave you with this. On the left, a secretly recorded conversation between Boris Johnson and a young woman who went on to claim that he abused his power to have a sexual relationship with her. The topic would appear to be his unsuccessful attempts to bag her a nice peachy job. And it comes from an investigation by the Times. And on the right of the screen, well, it seems even the Telegraph has a bit of a problem with a young woman not yet 30 being awarded a life peerage. Take a listen. Can I just say something? I, I did suggest you for a role, and I was very disappointed when you didn't get that role. I remember it. But it would have been improper for me to have pushed you or done something that favoured you in a in a in a abnormal way. You can't just machine friends into jobs. You can't. Not in City Hall. I suggested you, you for the job. I was very keen for Kit to interview. I remember Kit interviewed you. I asked him about it afterwards repeatedly why he hadn't given you the job, and I was very disappointed he hadn't. I remember. And I'm afraid one of the reasons he gave was that he thought you were too friendly with me. No, I'm incredibly fucking busy. I tried to meet you the other day. Jesus fucking asshole. I tried to meet you. So what do you think? Up to his old tricks? Just a bit of Tory nepotism? Or if, as this appears, it's another step too far from an already disgraced Prime Minister, why the hell didn't Rishi Sunak pick it up? And finally, as Alex S. learned to his horror while watching politics live this lunchtime, Jake Berry wasn't too keen on opening up the Pandora's box in reference to Johnson's honours list. I take that to mean the Tories shouldn't be investigating further, he adds. Does he realise how this sounds? Seriously sinister. Over to you now. What's your take on all this, alliterative or not? We want to know. Leave it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, visit 16millionrising.co.uk where you can listen to this week's full radio show for free, support us with a donation, buy us a coffee, or subscribe as an early riser. Back tomorrow. Mars.